What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Zegging Live Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Isaiah. On today's episode, it is time for me to get into my Titans free agent target series. As I said a couple of nights ago when I was going live, that this is going to be a new series I'm starting. I will be giving y'all four players every episode, two offensive players, two defensive players. Yeah, y'all. Uh, this series is probably, go, uh, it's probably going to go on for a while because there are a lot of free agents that the Titans should definitely target. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first Titans free agent target, y'all know him, man. Especially all my people that's from the great state of Tennessee. We know him, Mr. T. Higgins, Bengals wide receiver, 6'4", 218 pounds. 25 years old. His 2023 stats were 42 catches, 656 yards, and five touchdowns. Now, as I just stated a few seconds ago, for all my Tennessee people, we know T. Higgins very well as he is from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Went to high school, went to Oak Ridge High School. And man, this dude, y'all, oh my gosh, T. Higgins is an absolute baller. He's a stud. He's one of the best young wide receivers in the league. I think he's very underrated. And I really think that's due to him playing with a guy named Jamar Chase, who is arguably the best receiver in football. Definitely, I think Jamar Chase is anywhere from a top five to top ten receiver in the National Football League. And so, uh, T. Higgins gets overshadowed. But, man, y'all, T. Higgins, I mean, my goodness, dude. Six, like I said, 6'4", 218 pounds, has amazing size, uh, great jump ball guy. So, let's get into it. T had a down year this year as he battled through injuries, but he would give the Titans a down a downfield threat that they desperately need. Man, and, and y'all, as y'all know, for all my Titans fans, and really just for all my football fans out there, man, uh, my Tennessee Titans, our offense the last two years has really, 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 really been bad. We don't have a deep throw on this team. We don't have any guy that has speed to him. And in 2024, that is not a... a good thing right that's a bad thing um i almost said that it, it is a good thing <laughs> but no it's not it's not a good thing at all it's a really bad thing um to not have any speed to your offense and t higgins a lot of people don't know i know he's six four but this dude is, 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 is a fast guy right he's not just somebody out there that's slow that ran a four six four seven t has some good speed to him and he's a downfield threat and that's what we need right when you got a quarterback in wheel 11 that has a very strong arm you need receivers, you, uh, uh, y'all. You need playmakers that can stretch the field vertically. And right now, we really don't have that. I mean, Chris Moore is our quote-unquote deep threat. But, man, Chris Moore is not consistent enough. And he's not – I mean, if Chris Moore is your deep threat, y'all, let's be honest. That's a problem, okay? Because Chris Moore is not a deep threat. Yeah, he, he is not a deep threat. He had a solid season for us. I think he – Average almost like 20 yards to catch, but y'all, Chris Moore is not a deep threat in the National Football League, right? When you look at the deep threats, you got Tyreek Hill, you got Jalen Waddle, you got Zay Flowers, you have guys like that. And you look at the Titans, we have Chris Moore. Yeah, that ain't good enough. So we definitely could use a deep threat in T. Higgins. He would give the Titans youth, explosiveness, explosiveness, excuse me, and athleticism at the wide receiver position. T and D Hop would make an amazing one two punch. Expect him to command a lot of attention in free agency. And y'all, if we want T. Higgins, we're going to have to give him anywhere from probably 22 to $25 million a year if he hits free agency. Now, there's a chance the Bengals can franchise tag him, but if T. Higgins hits free agency, we're going to have to give him anywhere from 22 to $25 million. And it might be more than that, but I think it will be anywhere between 22 to $25 million per year. As y'all know, our former GM, he did not want to pay our top receiver, A.J. Brown, that much money. But, y'all, hey, it costs to what, y'all? It costs to be the boss. If we want to be the boss in the AFC again, in the AFC South again, we is, hey, it's time to start paying up. And T. Higgins, his youth, y'all, I mean, he's only 25 years old. You're talking about we would sign T. Higgins. This dude can be our number one wide receiver for, like, six, seven years. And I think – uh, his game is gonna age very well because again, T. Higgins, yes, he's he's fast, but that's he does, he's not a guy that just relies on his speed, right? He's not just a pure deep threat. Even though, look, some deep threats. In the, I mean, look at Deshaun Jackson. He was just a speed threat, and 
I mean, shoot, just as recently as a couple years ago, he was still able to get downfield. But I'm saying T. Higgins is more than just a speed guy. He's more than just a deep threat. He's a good route runner, man. He's a, 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 a high point catch guy. He's very physical. Like, his game is going to age well. And so I think if we just signed T. Higgins, he could be a guy that can be our number one, number one wide receiver for years and years and years to come, which is something that this team desperately needs. But you're talking about this coming up season, y'all, the 2024 Titans season. Him and D-Hop would be a great one-two punch, and you can still draft a receiver uh, in the draft if you want to. This would not stop us from drafting the receiver in the second, second or who to trade for a third-round pick. That should not stop you. Because in the NFL nowadays, y'all, you need three great receivers. You need three great corners. That's just how it is, okay? That's what you need. You really need three great receivers. You need three great corners. You need three receivers that can get over consistently. You need three corners that can cover these great receivers. So I really think if you get T. Higgins, have, uh, have D-Hop with him, that's a really good one-two punch. And then we, you can build around that. Obviously, we still need another young guy because D-Hop is great to be 32. While he's still great, we definitely need another long-term guy next to T. Higgins. But T. Higgins, man, oh my goodness, y'all. I really want T. Higgins to be a Tennessee Titan. Again, like I said, there's a chance that the Bengals franchise tag him and he doesn't even go to free agency. But if T. Higgins hits the open market, the Titans better be all over him. Next up, Titans for Age and Argus, number two, y'all. We got Patriots offensive tackle slash really guard, Mike Awenu, 6'3", 350 pounds, 26 years old. His 2023 stats, four penalties and only one sack allowed. And y'all, as y'all as y'all going to see, when I made this, <laughs> Mike Vrabel was still our head coach, okay? <laughs> So I'm just going ahead and warn y'all, as y'all see, uh, Mike Rebel's name is already mentioned in this. His name will be mentioned again here in about five to ten minutes um, because, again, when I made this, Mike was still our head coach. But y'all, hey, forget, hey, even with a different coach, Michael Wendell still is going to have a lot uh, of traits that any coach you want. So a window is what Mike Rebel likes a player to have versatility since he came to the league. Uh, as a twenty, uh, as a six-round pick in 2020, excuse me, he has played every position on the line for the Patriots. He has played right tackle this year and has performed exceptionally well, only allowing one sack. A winner will get the Titans a pillar on their offensive line and protect their young quarterback Will Levis for years to come. As y'all know, man, my Titans, we had, we gave up uh, 62 sacks this year, man. Uh, I think that was fourth, uh, fourth most in the league. I mean, absolutely atrocious. This line needs major work. And you're looking at a guy and Mike, you're looking at a guy, excuse me, like Michael Wendu. He would fill in nicely at either tackle position, left or right tackle. Again, he's darn near, he's played every position for the Patriots. I think he's played every position except center. But he can fill in at right or left tackle, which is our two biggest needs, I think, on this line is, is our tackle spots. And so you get a guy like Michael Wendu, man, you can put him on the left or right side, and that would that side would be good, right? Now, we would still need, you know, a left tackle. Say we play him at right tackle, we need a left tackle. We play him at left tackle, we need a right tackle. But at least you have one of those positions field. Tackle is very, very, very important in this league, man. And we got to keep our young quarterback, Will Levis, healthy. As we saw this year, man, I mean, y'all, he only started, what, nine games? But you saw how, you see how quickly he got hurt, right? Because this offensive line is so bad. We're trotting dudes out there like Andre Dillon and Jalen Duncan, Chris Hubbard. Even though Chris Hubbard played kind of okay, but – we need better players. That's what it comes down to, y'all. You just need better talent on this team, and we definitely need better talent on this office line. And Michael Wendell is a big guy, man. Again, y'all, look at this. Only allow one sack. Only allow one sack. I mean, my goodness. That is exactly what the doctor ordered for my Tennessee Titans, y'all. Again, like I said, we must protect Will Levis. We want this guy to be our quarterback for years to come. If we want him to be our quarterback for years to come, we got to protect him because if not, he is going to get beat up playing behind this bad offensive line that we currently have. So we definitely got to upgrade it. Michael Wendell will be a big, big, big time addition to this uh, offensive line. And again, like I said with T. Higgins, it costs to be the boss. He's going to have a lot of suitors for him in free agency. He's probably going to demand anywhere from 18 to maybe 20, 21 million dollars a year, which, hey, I'm fine with paying that. I really am. I'm totally OK with paying that because we need to invest in this offensive line. Y'all, we really do. We can we can no longer keep going out here, y'all, with these backup level players like Andre Diller, 
uh, like Jalen Duncan. I know Jalen Duncan was a rookie, but still, we we just cannot do that anymore. We don't have time, right? We don't have time. We cannot rely on backups anymore. We really cannot rely on rookies at tackle, especially. Jalen Duncan was a six-round pick, and I still think he could be a developmental uh, tackle in this league. But, y'all, we don't have time to develop him, really, as a starter. We don't have time to do that, right? Because we're trying to at least be a somewhat decent-slash-good team this coming up season. So we do not have time to wait on Jalen Duncan. We need to address this line. And getting a player like Michael Winnu would definitely help us. Like I said, whether he plays on the left or right side, man, he would be a huge addition to this offensive line. So you look, uh, let's do a recap, man. Our two offensive players, a wide receiver, T. Higgins, offensive tackle, Michael Wendu. And now, y'all, let's head to the defensive side of the ball. So we have Kendall Fuller, cornerback, commanders, 5'11", 198 pounds, 29 years old. His 2023 stats were 79 total tackles. Two interceptions and nine pass break of uh, uh, nine, uh, nine, excuse me, passes broken up. Again, y'all, like I said, you gonna see Mike Vrabel's name in here because when I made this, he was still the head coach. But again, like I said, with Michael Wendell, it shouldn't matter. Even with a new head coach, we still should be interested in these players, right? But Kendall is a rock steady veteran corner who is a Mike Vrabel type of corner. <laughs> he is aggressive, physical, and will challenge receivers and press coverage. He also can play zone coverage and make plays by reading the QB's eyes. He also is not afraid to go up and tackle running backs. He would give the Titans a much-needed proven veteran player in the secondary and be a good number one cornerback for them. Y'all, Kendall Fuller, since he came in the league in 2016, man, I think has been one of the more underrated corners in the league. Um, As we know, he had that big interception in the Super Bowl against the 49ers back in 2020. And I think people... Uh, have forgotten about him since then, but they forgot. Yo, Kendall Fuller has been a really good player, really solid corner his entire career. And that is hard to do because you're talking about this man, y'all, has played eight years in the league and, is again, has been just a rock steady veteran presence, a rock steady veteran player. And it's very hard to do that. Corner is an extremely hard position to play in the National Football League. And you're looking at a guy like Kendall Fuller that will come into this secondary, y'all, and immediately be our number one corner. Um, I would say this. Is Kendall Fuller, is he like a sauce gardener or Jalen Ramsey? No, he isn't. But he is a really, really good player. And the Titans, similar to this offensive line, y'all, we need good football players in this secondary. Like, seriously, I'm tired, man, of us going out there with these undrafted free agents, with these backup level players. I'm tired of that. We need better talent in this secondary, man. Our corners are not good outside of Roger McCray. Sean Murphy Button had a, I would say Sean Murphy Button had an okay year for us, but he had way too many penalties. Christian Foster obviously was a mess. Roger McCray was good, but he's a slot guy. He's a, you know, Roger McCray's a slot guy. Y'all, we really, 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 okay? We really, really need better corners on this team, man. I'm telling you, we need better corners on this team. And again, Kendall Fuller. Is he your sauce guard and your Jalen Ramsey? No, but there's not too many of those guys walking around in the National Football League. Kendall Fuller is a good corner. He's been a good corner his entire career. We just don't talk about him enough because, unfortunately, he spent six years playing for the Washington Commanders. Right? He only played for the uh, Chiefs uh, two years. But that's why I think Kendall Fuller does not get the respect he deserves because, man, he has definitely been a good player. And, again, y'all, you look at the Titans. What do we need to do? We need to add more uh, uh, quality players on this O-line in the receiving core and in the secondary. Kenneth Fuller is that guy. I think a deal for him would probably be, I would say anywhere, probably starting around 10, 11 million, maybe up to 13, 14 million, which I'm cool with. And he's still young too, like 29 years old. That is not old at all. I think some people think, man, that at certain positions when you're like 29, 30, you can no longer play, y'all. That is not the case, okay? And the way Kenneth Fuller plays, he's never been a guy that really relied on his athleticism that much anyway. So I think his game will age very well. And I would feel comfortable giving him like a three, four year deal. Like seriously, I would feel comfortable doing that because Kenneth Fuller was never a guy that really relied on his athleticism to the game. He was never he was never known for just his incredible speed. He is uh, you know, uh, has some good speed to him, but he's more than just a fast speedy corner that can't really cover, right? He's not like an Adore Jackson. <laughs> He's not an Adore Jackson. Kendall Fuller has good coverage skills. 
and he really, man, is a high IQ player. Again, y'all, we really have to improve this secondary for the Tennessee Titans. Kenneth Fuller would give us a good number one corner. Again, like I said with T. Higgins, even if you get T. Higgins, then do not to let uh, that is not uh, uh, or that excuse me that should not stop us from getting a wide receiver. If we sign Kenneth Fuller, that definitely would not uh, stop us from signing another corner or drafting the corner. So Kenneth Fuller is my Titans free agent target number three. Then last but not least, y'all, we got his teammate Titans free agent uh, target number four, Cameron Curl, strong safety. Washington Commander, 6'2", 198 pounds, 25 years old. His 2023 stats, 115 total tackles, one sack, five passes broken up. Y'all, I really, really like Cam Curl a lot. He um, has become a very physical player, a very tough player. Um, I liked him coming out of the draft when he uh, was uh, going to Arkansas. I was really surprised he went in the seventh round, but as we finna get into him in a minute, y'all, he definitely outplayed every position. Let's get into it. So since coming to league in 2020 as a seventh round pick, Curl has outplayed his draft position. Curl has become one of the best safeties in the league due to his hard hitting nature and aggressive play style. Curl is very versatile as he can play in the box and over the top. He would give the Titans secondary a swagger that is needed in that group and could be a great long-term option in safety. Now, as y'all see this last sentence that I said, he would give the Titans secondary a swagger that is needed in that group and could be a great long-term option in safety. As we all know, we have a Monty Hooker at, at free safety. But when you look at that strong safety position, y'all, and Monty Hooker can really play, but he can play free or, or strong. When you look at that safety position, why right, we got we uh picked up Kavon Wallace after the Cardinals had cut him, and he played well. I got to give Kavon Wallace that he played well. You also look at we uh in that when we traded Kevin Byard, excuse me, we acquired Terrell Evans. So Terrell Evans, I thought he did he did fine at times. But y'all, Cameron Curl would give this team. A hard hitter back there is safety. He would give us a dog, an alpha back there is safety, which I think is again for this secondary. That's what we need. As y'all see, I said he would give the Titans a swagger. He would give our secondary a swagger that we really, really need. Y'all, we don't have that. He would give us that alpha. We don't have an alpha in the secondary right now. And I feel like, man, there are certain positions in the league, and the, and the secondary is one, especially corner. But the secondary in, in totality, man, you really want your secondary, your corners and safeties to have a lot of confidence in themselves, to talk trash. Like, you want that because it's an incredibly hard position to play. So you want guys that are confident in themselves. I looked at the Titans. Obviously, we don't have that. I'm not saying we don't have guys that's confident in themselves. We don't have any guys that really have swagger to them. Y'all, I mean, I'm just going to be honest, right? I'm just going to be honest. We don't have that. Which again is fine. It's not like this is that big of a deal. But you look at Jalen Ramsey, you look at Sauce Gardner, you look at Jair Alexander, Trevon Diggs. These are dudes that will trash talk, that will get in your face, that bring that sort of swagger and physicality to the game. And I'm like, Cameron Kerr would bring that to this uh, secondary, which is what we need. And you look, we did, we talked about his teammate a few minutes ago. Can you imagine if we had Kendall Fuller and Cameron Curl? All of a sudden, man, this secondary goes from being a weakness to being a strength. Because you have Kendall Fuller. You have Roger McCray. You have Amani Hooker. And you have Cameron Curl. Now, I still think we need to add some more depth at corner. Add some more depth at safety. But now you're looking at a group that looks pretty good on paper. We still need the outside corner. I don't know if Sean Murphy, I mean, you could bring Sean Murphy up to back. I would still think about maybe drafting a corner. But now you're looking at a secondary that on paper looks pretty good. As y'all know, man, the last two years, our pass defense has been atrocious. So we need better play. And Cameron Kerr, as I stated, y'all, his versatility. That's what I really love about his versatility. He can play in the box and he can play over the top. He is very, very physical, y'all. Very physical. Very, 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 very physical. And he is gonna hit you. You gonna win. When Cameron Curl tackle tackles you, you gonna feel it. You are going to feel it. Because that's the way he plays the game of football, man. He plays with a chip on his shoulder. And I love it. 
I would love to have him on my football team. Again, we need better players, y'all. Okay, is that simple? We need better players, and we really need better players in the secondary. Cam Curl would be a great player for this team. And again, as I stated with all these guys, with his age, he could be a long-term option as safety for us, even if maybe we want to play him as a hybrid linebacker sometimes. We could do that because the guy has the tools, he has the versatility. And again, y'all, we just need to get better. It's that simple. We just need to add better football players to this roster. So there you have it. That was my first Titans free agent target video. As I told y'all at the beginning video, it's the new series I'm starting. I don't know how many videos it could be. It's probably going to be a ton, though. I'm not going to put a number on it, but it's probably going to be a lot. Because as I stated at the beginning of the video, y'all, this team needs, needs to look at a lot of these guys because we have a lot of needs, okay? You feel me? We have a lot of needs on this team, so we need to look at a lot of these guys, and we have the money to do it. So, Titans, let's spend money, man. Let's become a major player. Again, it costs to become the boss, and it's time for us to become boss of the AFC South again. If you like the video, man, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, follow me on Twitch at Zaymula Sports, all lowercase. Let me repeat. Follow me on Twitch at Zaymula Sports, all lowercase. Y'all know I'm going to end it, man. I love y'all. God bless. Pop, 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 pop.